Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you an embellishment book that I made for a swap that I'm in with a group of uh, friends on Instagram. And so spoiler alert Patty, if you don't want to see this go ahead and turn it off. And I thought it would be really cute to just kind of share the book, the finished product, because tomorrow there's going to be a video coming out where I'm going to do six of these embellishments in the video. So I'll show you how to make some of the stuff that I did in this book. So um, let's just go through the book real quick. This book is, I used Maggie Holmes Carousel for the papers, and since I didn't have any of the ephemera, I basically just had the paper pack and then a kind of a generic Maggie Holmes sticker book, I had to kind of shop my stash, which was actually really fun, was to go through and just look through my stash and find things with like colors and like themes that I thought would go really good with uh, making these embellishments. So um, for the flowers there on the front, I've got these little stick pins, uh, I used one of those, actually I used several of those dies where you cut out multiple layers of the flower and then you just kind of build them. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the video tomorrow because uh, I will be using that. And the little swan there is from one of my Spellbinders kits. It was the die in the It's Your Day kit from I think a month or two ago. And so I thought that would make a really cute carousel so I made it into some embellishments as well. So there's three more of the swans in here, and I kind of attached them onto what I guess would be a carousel pole, I guess. And um, I topped it with just a little circle punch that I had just to kind of make it look like that. And then at the bottom, uh, there's little word, you know, the tiny sentiments at the bottom that I backed on some cardstock. And then I popped it all up on some foam adhesive. So they make really cute embellishments. Each one of these pages has a pocket on one side and the embellishment is attached to the other side. Well, not attached yet because I want to show you the embellishments, but they will be attached. So for this one, I made some pinwheels and some flags. And again, just using papers from the collection and some little fasteners from my stash. I made some little tassels to attach to the flags and they're just attached on the back of some really long toothpicks. Um, I made I think I made these, actually I did not make these in the video for you tomorrow, but I did make some other ones that are really cute. So like I said, each one of these has a pocket on the back and I kind of stuffed them with some fun stuff. So there's another pinwheel on the really long toothpick. And I got those toothpicks at Hobby Lobby uh, ages ago. They come in a little container that you shake out and they're like kind of thick and long. So I don't think they're actually... I think they're meant more for cooking, like skewering stuff, than they are for like picking your teeth. But anyway, this is a cut apart from one of the papers and also a little shaker pouch that I sewed the Kindness Matters ticket to the top. And then this is one of the ones that we're going to do in the video tomorrow. It's just some tags that I decorated using different pieces of ephemera from Spellbinder kits, uh, the little tassels I got at Tuesday morning, um, and then just some other little word, the little tiny sentiments and tassels and then uh, yeah I'll make them tomorrow so you'll you'll see them on that video if you want to know how I put those together. And then I used to get kits from Studio Calico and I got them for like two years and it was to do like Project Life stuff so there's a lot of smaller stamp sets in there and some really cute stuff that came in there. Um, there's tons of stickers and whatnot so I added quite a bit of that to these books. This one is a die that I got, actually it's a punch that I got at Tuesday morning. It was like a couple dollars, it was a great deal, and it makes these tiny little flags, and then I just threw the, went through my sewing machine, and I sewed them all together. And that's another one that I'll show you how to do tomorrow. And I decorated it with stickers from this little Maggie Holmes book, which I also got at Tuesday morning. And I'm very much a Tuesday morning holic, so a lot of my toys I get there. This is a little bag and it's full of some more of the embellishments and uh, it's another Studio Calico. It's a little, they're gold and they rub on. Sorry about that. Here we have uh, little rosettes. Same thing. I think I, I think we make these tomorrow as well, the rosettes. But those ones are super simple to make. Some more little goodies from Studio Calico. The paper pack that I'm going to be using to, in tomorrow's video is the kind of what I have left over from the iHeart Crafting 
series that we did when I when I made the uh, Crafty Friends notebooks. So I thought I'd make some really cute embellishments out of that so that maybe you could use those with your Crafty Friends notebooks. I also made these little flags that are on the end of the paper clips. We make those tomorrow. Those are super fun. I love these. And those, if you are, you know, need to keep your page in a book, those are perfect. Just slide it in your page and it's super cute. Here's some more ephemera and some leftover paper and these really cute tags with little mini envelopes. Another thing that came in a Studio Calico box, which I thought was super cute. Here we've got some clothespins with some puffy stickers and some charms. If I could keep it in my hand. And then some super cute bows at the bottom. We make all our own packaging for our swaps as well. So a lot of this is repurposed packaging from, you know, other things that I have laying around. So now I have quite a bit of things that don't have packaging, but that's okay. Some chipboard hearts and the flowers. So these are also something that I'm going to be making in the video tomorrow is the flowers. And I show you everything that I use to make all this stuff. So you'll see all the dyes and the different things, the punches and whatnot. So that's it. This is my book. This is my embellishment book. And um, another good reason for you to see this, this video right now is that this book, the directions to make not the embellishments part, but the actual base of the book is on my on my blog, which I will have linked below. And you will need this if you want to follow along with the heirloom recipe series that I'm going to be starting hopefully next week if I get my order in. Um, we can get it started. But if you want to get a head start, because I already have my book made and ready to go, is to go ahead and head over to the blog and start working on the actual book itself and make the base of the book. So all the directions are there. It's ready to go. All you got to do is just get, you know, I have a list of supplies that you'll need to make this, to make the base of the book. And then I will start the heirloom recipe series probably... I would say in two weeks. It'll be in two weeks because actually I need I need quite a few days off to, to to make the book and you know do all of the editing and get it up on the on the um actual website. So if you head over there, you'll be able to get started on that book. So I just wanted to let you guys know what's coming up that we're going to be making that soon. And that's it. This is my book and I hope this gives you some ideas on some cute little embellishments that you can make by shopping your stash. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope it gives you some ideas and I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Um, I'm going to be heading back to work on Thursday so I will not have any new videos coming out for a little while because I got to finish my work week and then I will get started back with the recipe book so I'll see you again real soon appreciate you stopping by and yeah have a great week bye bye